A beautiful day in Phuket today and we are off to work. We are going to this beautiful resort that you could see in the video about my tour of all the fancy resorts in Phuket. The last one, Paresa. So I'm very much looking forward to this one. It's incredible how important weather is for my the mood. Uh, when sun comes out after a few days of rain, like it just did, I feel like uh, during spring in Poland, which is an incredible feeling of relief and, uh, well, it's just pure bliss. We don't really have spring here in Thailand, it's hot all year round, but then when you have a few days of rain like this and then the sun comes out, it feels almost the same. Just... It's so nice! You hear Angela? All enthusiastic about this place? <laughs> I didn't know you were recording. Because Phuket really looks just insanely beautiful today. I've never seen water like this in Phuket, have you? By the way, this is Angela. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, I'm not that's... ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> Too late. You're live. Oh my God. Yeah, that's Angela uh, from that's our magazine, the director of Nam magazine. We are going on a road called Millionaire's Line, Millionaire's, no, Millionaire's Mile, Miles, yeah. which is yeah, a strip of uh, seaside road in Phuket with lots of exclusive villas lining the road. One day we will live here. <laughs> It's hard. I feel like in Kung Fu Panda. There you go. Are you ready? Yes. So the floor that I'm walking on is made of 24 karat gold. Mm, nice. Really, something happened to the sea in Phuket today. There was one day in the year to take pictures of landscapes in this island. It is today. Beautiful. And especially in a place like this. I told you I was waiting for the sun to come out and it finally came out in glorious style. So the stunning sea views were from a fancy resort, a few thousand dollars per night, and these are views just on the side of the road.
You just need to stop and notice them. Beautiful. We are just out shopping for furniture, but as you can see, we are not in a furniture store. We are in a normal house here in Phuket, because much of our shopping takes place online. There are Facebook groups in Phuket for expats mostly, where people exchange stuff and sell stuff, and you can just buy stuff secondhand of other people. So yeah, we found some shelves online that we want to get for our school. And Phuket being a small island, it turns out that I know the guy who lives here and who wants to sell some stuff. We are finishing our day in a local park. I think enjoying time outdoors in a park and exercising must be one of the most Asian things I've ever seen. The first time I saw people exercising like this outdoors in a park was actually in Chinatown in San Francisco. But then I've seen it all around Asia, from uh, Thailand through Vietnam, Cambodia to China. It's just a very local thing to do. We come to parks very often too, but not to exercise, definitely. Just to sit and watch the people and enjoy the time out. Mm -hmm.